my Sears lawnmower. It's powered by a Briggs and Stratton Model Y. Got a Sears tag up on the shroud, the engine tag, and it's got a lawnmower tag that I just showed down on the mower. The reels are powered by the front wheels because when the front wheels turn, they turn the reel. All the engine does is it moves it forward. And this lever right here, it just tensions the belt and moves it forward. got a flat belt in there, not a V-belt. Overall, this unit is quite nice. You even got the original air cleaner with the original cleaner on it. When I got it, the gas tank was missing. But other than that, it was as you see. Oh, and I had to clean the points to get it going. And, uh, it took me a little while to get the starter ratchet back together because they're a pain on these A's and Y's. But after that, started right up. This unit was made in the late 1930s. Mid to late 1930s, I should say. Somewhere between 1935-ish and 1940-ish. Somewhere in there. Uh, it's got the original rubber tires on the front. As far as I know, only some of them use the rubber tires, but I because I've seen one with steel tires or not tires but steel wheels. And believe it or not, it's got roller bearings right in there. It's got roller bearings. I had it apart. Because I was messing with the tire, because they're loose on there. But I didn't succeed in getting them back together. At least not yet. But anyway, this is my 1930s Sears lawnmower, powered by a Briggs & Stratton Model Y.